just headed up here into our attic and I want to show you guys something. Mounted on the ceiling of our attic is the old RC boats that I built back when I was in school. I want to show you guys this little collection to kind of show you how NAS boat was born and the RC boat racing that we've been doing. Let's see, over here is the first one, this gray one. So this started out was a little flat bottom, but I made it too small and I tried to make outriggers, didn't work. So then I moved up to this one, flat bottom boat. Looks very similar to what we're racing today. And that's kind of what the design is based on. Next, I tried to make one that was a little lighter. A little lighter again, playing around with different sizes. Eventually I moved on to making a V bottom out of aluminum. They look kind of funny here hanging from the ceiling, but you get the idea. I built a lot of different boats. These are all just homemade, all had weed whacker engines running a simple set of servos. So the idea behind NAS boat was actually born probably about 15 years ago. And the idea is you build a boat out of just scrap wood, something simple. You use a junk weed eater engine. You throw in a simple servo uh, receiver to control the boat so you can run it. Mount a, mount a propeller on the shaft and you're off and racing. So I want to show you guys what we've been doing with NAS boat in the first event, the Harris Creek Brigada that we held here just last week. I want you guys to check out some of the racing action. If you like what you see, stick around to the end and I'm going to show you how we build these boats. <laughs> All right. Boats are lining up. Come up here, we're gonna have a driver's meeting. Wait for Dad. Word so gallantly singing, and I'll get through the night. Come on, first thing it is. Landon got the trophy. There's your winner.
So what do you think? Do you like all the racing action? The Harris Creek Brigada was a great time. We had a really good turnout. We had seven boats here to race and about 50 spectators. You'll notice we got a variety of boats, but all similar construction. So the rules for NAS boat are pretty simple. Your boat has to be flat bottom. In other words, no V bottoms. And the engine has to have once been an air-cooled string trimmer. We want everyone that builds a boat to get creative so we keep leave the rules pretty open. You can run whatever drive setup you want, modify your engine and however you want, your exhaust, your intake, whatever you think you might want to do to make it a little faster. The idea behind NASPO is to encourage creativity, engineering skills, and just to have a little fun racing each other. Most of the competitors are young boys. They may have a dad helping them if they're young enough. Others like to uh, tackle the project on their own, see what they can come up with. One key is to put your electronics in a waterproof box in case you do one of those flips that you saw in the video. Thanks to everyone who came out to help with the race, the flaggers, the scorekeepers, everyone who served as a mechanic on the pit crews, the videographers, all those taking pictures for me, the clever craftsmen, thanks you very much for all coming out. Oh, and the lemonade salesman. All right, if you guys are interested in learning more about these boats, stick around. The rest of this video will show you how we construct the boats and a little bit about setup. Thanks for watching. Here, Landon is tracing the template. And we're making our seat That's all right. All right, we have all the sides for the boats cut out right back here. All right, lay it right there on the floor. This is gonna be to keep our glue off the cement. You are gonna learn about Gorilla Glue. Uh, we're bending our cement. That's right. You gotta put the water on the wood where you're gonna glue it. With Gorilla Glue, it works best if you get it a little bit wet. We spread that out, we're gonna clamp it here. We'll put two clamps on the back. Put one more clamp on there, Brody. It'll be tight. Check out how it squeezes out. Isn't that cool? And then Brody, show them what happens to it after a while, how it foams up. As the Gorilla Glue starts to dry, it foams up. The boats are all glued up as far as the transoms go. We'll let them dry for a few hours and come out and start putting some bottoms on. If you want to put together a boat to go NAS boat racing with us, the Clever Craftsman will construct a haul for you, or you can build your own like these boys did. The haul is the easy part, getting the engine mounted in there correctly and getting everything functioning. That's where the real challenge comes in. Just need a way to mount it, so I've stripped it down, cut up some aluminum, you're ready to weld it into this shape. I've got one kind of tacked up here, working on. A little bolt on there like that. Getting ready to weld this one for uh, Landon to be able to run one. One for me, one for him. Brody is putting the engine mount on the engine, tightening up the bolts. Get it real tight, Brody. Okay, we've got our engine mount made and ready. And now it's for the most nerve wracking part. <laughs> Not eating a fudge ram, it's drilling a hole in the bottom. Oh, now it's gonna leak water, Brody. Let's turn it over and drill the other way. Now what's gonna happen? It's gonna leak. So Brody got the hole cut in the bottom. We drilled it with a paddle bit and then connected the two holes with a jigsaw. The easiest way to mount your engine in there is to mount it to a board and bolt it in place. Use a straight shaft. You can use the tube that came with the weed eater or construct your own tube that's smaller. 
The other key to building a nice boat is a good paint job. Brody opted to go with red, Landon went with green. Here we put on a hood and Landon's mounting his servos and electronics. The boys are helping to getting everything wired up and hooked up. Landon's ready for his first test run. If you or someone you know would like to put together a boat, feel free to look us up. You can find us on Facebook. We'd love to have you come out and compete. Thanks for watching The Clever Craftsman as we go boat racing.